Lulu Farm Guy here, and this is the Alice Chalmers Series 7000 by Julian F. Modding on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Georgia Farms map to test out and look at this beautiful little classic Alice Chalmers. Very nice. Uh, 24.83 megabytes to download. Only 11 slots on console. This little beauty is going to be found in vehicles and medium tractors. And uh, here it is, just one. Um, everything in all in one, yes. Uh, so we can see it's uh, 146 to 181 horsepower. The AC Power Director Partial Power Shift, which is basically a manual transmission, but you'll see that. 242 liters of fuel capacity, 21 mile per hour top speed, 5.4 tons. Now this, uh, we'll uh, start with the engine setup. Start with 146 horsepower. Uh, you can bump that up to 156, 161, and 181 for only nine extra thousand, nine thousand extra dollars. Yeah, nine nine extra thousand dollars. Wheel brands: Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, Verdestine, and Trelleborg. In Trelleborg, we have pretty much the same options throughout all of these. We have a um, more of a what is a turf front tire, I suppose you could call it, and then wides, wides with uh, the, the 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 variation on the front tire, then rear wheels with a variation. So that is pretty much your options. If we go to Michelin, it is the same through there. So the tire choices are pretty much identical throughout. Uh, Midas is only as this, that Midas only has this version. Vertistein goes through all the various tire options. And then back to Trillerberg. So about $3,500 for the wides is that exhaust so we have uh, several exhaust options and i'll just kind of scroll through them there's nine of them nope 19 different uh exhaust options with exhaust and air cleaners so whichever one you like none of them will cost you any extra money uh it's just all whatever you prefer now cabin we have the uh Costa Cab 2 from uh, model year 77 to 81, and then we got the 74 to 76 model. A little bit of a model difference there, I think, just on the front. Yeah. Uh, front weight. We have new weight bracket 1, 2, 3, or no. So 1, 6. So it's uh, 100 kilograms. 900, 900 kilograms and then yeah a lots of kilograms i don't i did I, math is not my strong suit uh we got the uh 77 to 81 or the 74 to 76 color scheme as well for the lower color rim color white or black and license plate front and rear if you so choose and that's it for options um, all told, if you pick all the expensive options, uh, $14,000 will be added to your purchase price, which still isn't too bad, $77,000. A little bit over that for a total purchase price. Now, let's uh, get our help window on. There we go. And hop in. Let's start it up. very nice interior well detailed and uh, things levers and things move around very nice so um, so power shift transmission it's uh, yeah it's as far as everything as, as far as the game goes it shifts like a uh, manual transmission it has four gears and i believe uh two gear ranges farm dog max has come to see what all the fuss is about now we have lights lots of nice lighting 
and um, let's see here signals yes signals up high on the cab there up high on the cab there uh, as for options yeah we have a horn And that's it for options. It's really nice, simple little tractor. This is the base model with no added options or anything. I have an appropriately uh, horsepower rated cultivator here. Base game cultivator. And one thing I do like, well, let's, let's just drop that and drive it around. Uh, just sitting here and idling, we have a kind of a white smoke coming out of the stack. If we go, you can see as the engine revs up and it comes and it goes well under load it turns dark and I don't remember I mean I think there's probably are a few mods out there like that but this one is very pronounced like it's extremely noticeable like it goes from white to to quite dark so let's uh, let's turn the lights off let's hire a worker here I don't know why I'm fascinated by that but there it is it looks it does it looks really realistic and under load it's like just pumping out the dark smoke I love it I do miss that from the new tractors you don't just don't see that anymore due to emissions and all that stuff but look at that and it and it's and it it just chugs along it's it's not the most extremely powerful tractor but i mean it's it it probably will pull something more than its weight class uh we're gonna let this come around here to the end see look at that when it lets off the throttle it uh the smoke yeah oh, i i don't know why i love that so much it's really cool <laughs> but um the workers have no problem with it it seems very efficient the uh, gears shift um, I mean it yeah I mean it it hung up a little bit but it's it's kind of like a manual transmission you wouldn't expect speed shifting or anything it actually does shift quite nicely I really have no beef with the uh, um, with the, the the shifting I'm going to say shift pattern or the shifting of it. Okay, so now I'll turn my signal off. Here's the big boy with a different smokestack, as you can see. And it too, yes, it too. Oh, that looks, uh, it looks so good. I don't know why. I like it so much. I do. I like it a lot. <laughs> just use this now if there was thing uh if there was one thing i wished there was added um it would have been a front loader option quickie or hower hower or something like that i know it's a medium tractor but it's a small medium tractor perhaps in an update um it's just a bit of a bit of a wish a wishful sorry something i it would be nice to be added but not I, i'm not criticizing it at all this is um 180 what is this uh, cultivator that is a 180 horsepower cultivator and 181 horsepower tractor very nice it does very well i would uh, recommend the weight on the front if you're doing any anything but it's it's very steady and it just works it works good it's really nice <clears throat> i really like this I, I it would as i said it would be it would make for i not even i not even too you know even the front three point would be would be a nice option but it, even that is not like a as much as i would like a front loader but that's just me adding to a wish list of something that's already very nice i do really like it i know you will too there's a lot of people waiting for this the alice chandler series 7000 by julian f modding on farming simulator 
22. Thank you all for watching. And remember, it's only a game. So till the next one, bye for now.